teaching us to do was tire woven wire flies. And I'm not going to teach you how to tie any specific fly tonight. I'm going to teach you how to tie woven wire flies. This can be used for all kinds of different kinds of nymphs. And the nice thing about it is your weight's in the wire and you don't have to necessarily use lead on your fly or anything else. Because I'm going to have you guys that want to start with the big ones that are in there because it's a little easier to do if you think you're really experienced and want to use something small then go ahead and use something small. And it can be tied on nymph hooks, it can be tied on all kinds of hooks. I'm going to start with the big hook in there. There's the biggest hooks in there. Oh. The two, uh, you use the wire and we're going to use pheasant tail. And that's it. So we're going to need, some of you guys are just going to need to take, uh, take a piece off of these things. I'll pass them around, some of these uh, pheasant tails. and just have to take a piece of that. This wire is that handout says comes in all kinds of sizes. It comes from very small up to, to up to large. And uh, what we're going to use tonight is for the for this fly we're going to use some medium size wire. Okay? We're going to use medium. Uh, what size is medium? <clears throat> it's bigger than brassy. So it's I bigger than brassy and it's smaller than large. And brassy's in between small and medium. And then you got super small. Okay. So what we're going to do is they tended to use they used a lot of uh, chartreuse and gold, and they used a lot of black and silver. So I'm going to need a piece of black wire. I'm going to do it in black and silver for you guys. You use you use way down in your scissors to cut it, or other scissors, or other scissors. <coughs> what was that, Doug? Oh, that wasn't Doug who said that. <coughs> okay, so you're going to start your thread. A little bit back from the eye, and you're going to wind a bed of thread all the way back. Okay, now if you're going to tie a nymph hook, uh, this is not a, a real nymph hook, this is more like a different kind. If you're going to tie a nymph hook, you're going to wind your, your thread all the way, you're going to wind it all the way back down the, the bend. About, about a third of the way. You're going to cut this off. And then you're going to take a piece of, of this pheasant, pheasant here, just for this basic little fly. You can peel that off, make sure the ends are even. You can lay it in there with a little tail. So we've got it zoomed in so we can see. <laughs> Yeah, I do this at home with there we go. Okay. <clears throat> and then you're gonna wind this. We're just so helpful. You're just so helpful. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wind this back up to my start point to give me just a little bit of body on the fly. I'm gonna cut that off. this all the way back. Voiding the hook point again. Right back to the where I started there. I'm going to take my two wires that I clipped off here. You're looking at what, five or six inches? Yeah. Actually, it's, it's, it's a whole lot easier the longer you make the piece. When it gets really short, it's kind of yes. hard to do this weave. So you end up with some excess. I'm going to lay the wires on, and I'm going to lay the black wire on the far side. I'm going to lay the silver wire on this side. And then I'm going to start wrapping those wires down. Now, the reason I'm doing that on this big fly 
is that it gives the fly some width because these yeah, kinds of flies are going to have uh, these are going to be this is going to be like a big stone fly type or something like that if you were making a stone fly you could do it this way but for this demo this is just going to be a big fat nymph You wind it all the way down, and I usually double it back a couple of times. Just to hold it in there. Then you're going to get up to the front, and you're going to whip, you're going to whip finish it. Uh, whip finish it, or you're going to tie a couple of half hitches in there. And you're going to cut your thread off. Now then, the black wire is on this side, the silver wire is on this side. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the silver wire under. And I'm going to pull it back so that it's nice and snug. Then I'm going to wrap it over the black wire. And I'm going to wrap the black wire over the top. The silver wire comes under and wraps over the black wire, pulling snug. And then you're going to wrap the black wire over the top. And the silver wire is going to go under and over. Okay? And then you pull it down and over and under and over and down and over and under and over and over and black. The silver is going on the bottom and the black's going on the top so you end up with kind of a silver rib on the side and when you get real good at it you can start doing it Oops. you can start by just kind of doing things like like this you start getting the weaving going You this? These guys from Ireland. They're at the nature at the bottom of the piece of paper you passed out. Oh, it was a drink Jerry Taggart and Lawrence Finley. Okay, and when you get up to the front, then you just give it a little twist to hold it. Use your scissors to cut it. And it's all ready to go there. Now you got a little tag in there, and so you're going to take. Push that little tag in back. Now then you're going to have a fly that's silver on the bottom. You're going to have one that's black on the top. <clears throat> For a fly like this, since I want it to have sort of a flat type of body, I like to take some little, little, little needle nose pliers and just sort of flatten that out. Okay. So now you got sort of a flat body. So you, you can see this. You can see it here. And then you're going to come back. You're going to reattach your thread. Reattach your thread. How come you had to cut the thread off? Get it out of my way. And I'm going to come back about about a third of the hook to about here and start winding some thread in there. And I'm going to cut this off. I don't need it anymore. Because now i got to build up a thorax. So I'm going to wind it in here. Start building up a little bit of a thorax. Kind of cover up some of that, cover up some of that uh, wire in there. And then I want to take, again, I want to take some of my pheasant feather, I mean, yeah, my pheasant tail feather. And I want a pretty good sized chunk this time, bigger than last time, that I want to use. And I'm going to lay that in there with a pretty good long behind the fly there, okay? And then I'm going to wrap that in into there. Wrap it towards the front, and then I can take those pieces and double them back, whatever I've got, and start using that to build my thorax. So I wrap that. So then you just, do you want this fly to sink, so you're going to just use all, 
all thread to build up your thorax. What kind of wire is that? It's that uni wire. You know, it's I don't know what it's made out of. It's, it's copper based. It's copper based. Okay, so now you get your thorax all built up. And you come back, bring your thread back to the front. And this piece here, you take it and you push it over, over the back of your your fly. And you tie it, tie it in there. Hold it in. A couple of wraps to hold it. And then you split it. Okay, you split it. You put half on one side, half on the other. Then you hold it back. You wind your thread up on it to hold it back. And when you're there, you got to fly and you either do a whip finish or throw some half hitches on it. And you're done. That's it? That's it for this, for the fly. But the body is what's the important part. The body can be used with any kind of, any kind of nymph that you want to, uh, to, 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 to sink and you don't want to have to put the lead on. So you could tie, you could tie your little, your little blood midge with these that you do. You know, you do your little blood midge. You could tie it with real fine wire, and you could wind, you could wrap it if you want with two colors. Yeah, they did some blue wing, uh, blue wing olives down to 16 and put it on a curved hook, and they were fishing like the back here. So. And you got it comes the wires come in all kinds of colors. I was looking for some. I wanted to do some purple. I wanted to make some steelhead flies out of these, but I never could. They don't make purple, so I couldn't. Because purple's a real purple and hot pink. I wanted to use. I like buggy. So it comes out pretty buggy. Buggy. You know. And you got you got the silver underneath. You got the the black on top.